Welcome to Open Fell Running. And this is Achieve Your Goat. Will I finish it this time? Well, you'll have to keep watching, won't you? So here I am at the scout house now, or the scout cabin, hut, cottage thing. Now I look back over into the distance. Headlights glow. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take much more footage in the dark cause it's not the best. So I'll see you when the sun comes up. So the sun's now up, or nearly. You see the nice sunrise over there. Red sky, don't know what that means. Um, just about to come off Salta's Road here and head down to this ravine, which I believe has changed slightly from the recce route. Um, I think I see some people right on the side there. We, we came up the ravine the last time, so um, I don't know, we'll see. See if it's any better. Can it be any worse, can it? Not quite up yet. Oh, talk about bog roulette. Literally, there's like a crust on top. Oh, there we're going. Yeah, with some little snow like this. So you hear that? You take your life into your own hands. It's not completely frozen over oh. like so. Wet feet. Rest feet in sub zero conditions, eh? Honestly, I know I might look like a wally with some heat, but it is cold. It is bitter. But that sun's lovely. So I'm gonna take a little time lapse heading into the sun. Morning, everybody. Well, just climbing up the Dodd here with Annie from Cold Brew Events. And out of breath, Andy, I would add, uh, <laughs> just came over the steep bit of the Dodd. Still in icy cold, sting in the air. Isn't it just? Now, you guys promised a winter ultra. This must be dream come true for you. Well, I think it's dream come true for the runners. Well, well done, mate. Dream come true for the runners. Frozen ground. Clear skies, absolutely stunning. You couldn't ask for more. I think running conditions wise, though, it's perfect. Look at this. Bogs. You'd say probably you've been out here plenty, non existent possibly this run, maybe. Yeah, you might be able to just float over yeah. the top of them. Yeah. It is spectacularly cold, though. It's about minus five here at the minute. We looked on the temperature gauge this morning. Top achieve at five this morning was minus 14. <laughs> so. Crazy. Wild temperatures. I think uh, Stuart, the local farmer, he clocked minus seven when he got up yesterday morning at his farm, oh. and he was talking about in excess of minus ten on the top. So, wow. Yeah, would be double figures. Well, we got here at about eight o'clock this morning, and just as we arrived, the front runner was <laughs> screaming past us, wasn't he? Exciting, so, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely flying. We normally get the water station here before the front runners and we normally get the top and are waiting for them but today telltale sign of the frozen ground. Yep. Like we have said there, people will just float over it so might be some yeah. fast times. Fast times 14 mile in, two just over yep. two hours. Yeah. Crazy. Real. And hilly as well. Yeah, very. So we're, we're gonna flat this first part. 
We're heading up to the door. I'm going to try and get some shots with the drone if it doesn't freeze. And uh, we'll check in on Lee, see how he's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, is this, uh, is this Graham Hare? Graham Hare with the drone. Uh, Graham Hare, an absolute vision of health. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. I? Look at him, man. I've lost my drone. Look at the colour on his cheeks, man, he looks like. Loving He's it. Blowing. I feel like, like I could have done it now. Yeah, Piggy backed yeah. him up, yeah, he was coughing and spluttering <laughs> with that illness. Had to carry him up. <laughs> I've got a gun, Peter's okay, calling. Right, I'm going to follow you down. See you later. The dod. <clears throat> Taking it easy for my knees. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Brutally cold, but all right. Nice. No wind. Sunny. Enjoying it so far. Seeing that, I'm only 30 in my lane, so could all change. It's definitely a pretty day. Um, <clears throat> about four, four or five mile maybe outside of Barrowburn. Just got to go down that dip, up. I think it's Inner Hill, then Chill, Sill, Sill Hill Law. Green will correct us if he uses his clip. Um, there. <clears throat> and then went to Barrowburn. There we're going in a hill. Uh, Shell Hill Law, I think. Something like that. So you got them to to go. And then we drop down into Barraburn. Just got this nasty descent coming off here now. Which is hellish on the knees. So yes, I'll either be sliding down on my backside. I'll be walking it. So I'm here at a very cold and snowy Barrowburn. All the bags are ready for the runners. I've gotten here pretty much before anybody's here. It's very quiet. I'm gonna see if there's anything happening inside. So let's go and have a look. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one person you want to see on this run, it's Sharon. Hello, me darling. Hello. What have we got a day for everybody? We've got, it's um, vegetable soup made by, not me, apparently it's very salty. All right, okay. But I think it'll be good for the runners. Hello. Hello, yeah, good for the runners. So, Great. what else? But not many people have had any yet. Good for the, uh, there's a patch. Good. Yeah. Good for the Grahams as Good well. for the Grahams. Oh yeah. <laughs> the only reason I've so come here for was for the bloody soup. So what do you want some soup now? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. Just had some lovely soup off Sharon. So now I'm going to try and get a little bit of height out of Barraburn so I can send up the drone and catch some of the runners coming in here to checkpoint one. Could look pretty spectacular. See if we can try and find Lee as well. See you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only Lee Bomega. That's me leaving Barraburn. 
here we go again. Um, next stop's Windy Gale. Let's go get it. Right, so, <coughs> Windy Gale. Just about to start that climb. No, Graham, not two miles back there. We're about to start it now. Um, I'm hoping it's about, it's 20 to 12 now. You can see the clouds are rolling in, but there's supposed to be a window of weather on Cheviot from about 12 to half two. So hopefully I'll get up there and get down before, before the clouds roll in then. Get some good footage up there, but Windy Kyle first. That's Windy Kyle done. Uh, just on the Pennine Way now. Cannot see the flags at all. There's somewhere in there. And uh, the big lad looks uh, very interesting. I think we might have missed that um, opportunity for clear skies up there. So here we go, cut low foot, roughly about halfway. Um, so we've now got the nasty climb that is arc up. Arc up. Graham's going to tell us off because I've probably said that wrong. But uh, aye, we'll get up that and then we'll achieve it. So I'll probably see you when I get up there. Here yeah, we are at the mountain res rescue hut or refuge hut. Let's see what's inside there. Eh? Oh, oh fuck it up! Carry on! Oh, I shouldn't swear on that. It's a matter, man. Yeah. Kim Walker on the McWilliams round? Yeah. yeah. Me, me and Kuna. Do you just want me number? 210, yeah. you can jump on the yeah. goat if you want. Oh. Welcome to the top of Cheers. Well, not the summit yet, but we are on our way. What a white out. I don't know if you can make out just in front of us there. They're the, the mountain rescue guys marking the, um, the drop off point. You still got to run past, get to the summit, turn around, and then come back and see them. So, whew, it is nippy up here. I think uh, this morning it was forecast for minus 14. I don't think it's that cold. It's probably about minus 10. Just, just minus 10. Let's go get this summit. What's that? Oh, we're at the top. There we go. Just gotta get back down now. Mental, isn't it? They totally white. I've even got the... Uh, like mini spikes, I think they're, they're called yak tracks just to try and give us a bit more traction up here because it is slick but uh, hi, let's get off here because it's cold look at that man and yes, yes my feet are working on top of TV at this time that is me running <laughs> Let's not jinx anything though, eh? Just dropping down off Cheviot now. This is where it all went to SHIT the last time. So, getting past here as a bonus anyway. Legs are still moving. So, yeah. And look at this scenery, man. I mean, look at this. How are you? That's just epic, isn't it? But sun's probably, I don't know what time it is, I think it's about half past two. Sun's probably going to be down within an hour, hour and a half. Hopefully I'll be somewhere near Bleak Hope by then, getting the second checkpoint. Get myself fed, watered, um, big coat on, because it'll be cold. And then uh, try and grind out the, the third leg. But uh, yeah, I'll check in with you in a bit. So this is what that uh, beautiful low rolling cloud looked like, or looks like rather, when you're inside of it. 
It's not as pretty now, is it? Bloody bush, just down there, and then up. Let's get it done. So this is probably one of the last shots I want to take in the light, because, uh, well, if you can call this light, but there's, uh, there's not much sunlight left. That is the trig point of Bloody Bush Edge. That is where we are. We are going to come down this way. And believe it or not, that cush out over there looks a little bit different today, doesn't it? But, yeah, I'll see if I can get another shot or two before um, a checkpoint too, but yeah, well, I haven't got much daylight left now. Um, and then uh, I'll catch up with you at checkpoint too. Right then, everybody, I'm here at Ingram. I've spoken to Lee, and he is in this group here. He's heading down to checkpoint two. At High Bleak Hope, and then it's uh, about 16, 17 miles home. So he sounds in good spirits. He's going for it. He's not going to um, pull out a checkpoint too. So fingers crossed for Lee to complete the Chief you'd go this year. Come on, Lee, we're rooting for you. Checkpoint two. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, Barry Harry. Hey, I'm alright, mate. Aye. Yeah, we're witching now, you know. Aye. I'm away. So, I'm away. I'm... You're not oh, yeah. pulling out, are you? I'm not what? You're not pulling out. No, nah. Nah. Yeah. Not this year. <laughs> right, I best go. I am buzzing to see all you, right? Top of head job. Well, yeah, I think I'm just going to roll down Ingram now. <laughs> well done, mate. How are you doing? Are you uh, cold? No, it's not too bad. Aye. Yeah, yeah. The wind's all right, like, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. lack of. If it was howling, it would be different. Yeah, exactly. Aye. Now, uh, I appreciate you standing out here waiting for a while, like, so yeah, no thank you very much. Follow the lights. Yeah, thank you. See you later. Well done, well done, Chat. Brilliant. Good job. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Really, you're not going to put this around my neck, mate. I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> How are you doing, dude? Oh. All right, coming in the light. How was that? How was it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I've done it, I'm not coming back. <laughs> was it bad? Do you know what? It was just so good. On the other side of me, uh, the really dude died, yeah. Really so good. Um, and then, oh. Yeah, I'll just take the forward through the camera. Oh, really? Oh, 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 hey man, get the door out of the photo. Well done. Enjoy it. Yes and no. See the next one. Well done, dude. No tears this year, Graham. Just from you. Uh huh. Uh, how was your how was your sniffles? All right. Oh bless you. You've been suffering all day. You know what? It's not well, honey. He's not mentioning it. Instead of stuffing his face with cake. Cake soup. Got some soup. No problem. So next year. So anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>